What's up, everybody? Welcome to Talk Wrestling here on NoDQ.com and, of course, YouTube.com. Thank you all for watching. Hope you all had a good weekend. Hope everything is well for you. Happy belated Father's Day to all the fathers out there, including, well, me. Happy Father's Day to me, Amy. Anyway, let's get to your questions. This one comes from William Henry Harrison in Barrow, Alaska. The former president of the United States is asking a question. Did he die like after a month of pneumonia? That's amazing that he's alive in Alaska still. We got some good stuff in Alaska to keep people alive. Anyway, what did you think of capital punishment, in particular Cena and Orton retaining and Barrett Ziegler capturing gold? Um, all in all, I wasn't surprised by capital punishment in any way, shape, or fashion. I thought that uh, I thought that Barrett losing and Kofi losing wasn't a surprise. I thought that the only thing that kind of surprised me was Alex Riley beating the Miz. That one kind of was like, "Wow, really? That's cool." I was surprised by that one. Uh, Cena retaining, no surprise there. Orton retaining, mostly no surprise there. I think that they have a little, the little out there with Christian having his feet under the ropes. So we'll see how that plays out on SmackDown on a Friday night. But um, all in all, not really surprised by the whole pay per view. Um, just kind of eh, I guess. That's why I finally got to see it this morning um, on Justin TV. But um, uh, yeah, it was okay. This is from Corpse Killer ninety three. What did you think about WWE not using the Long Island Iced Z, Zack Ryder, on Raw in his hometown? I thought that was bullshit. I really did. I mean, I'm a big Zack Ryder fan here lately, and. Um, I guess he was on Superstars to make the hometown crowd happy that he was actually on the show at all. But for him to not be on Raw in his hometown just goes to show how scared the WWE is to push somebody that they haven't gotten behind themselves yet. They are so worried that Zack Ryder has a push from doing his own thing and being himself and the whole thing that they don't want to get behind him. And that is crap. Complete and utter crap. Um, what can you say about that? That's that's horrible booking, horrible decision making. Zack Ryder is so over, and he was in his hometown. He would have got a huge pop. I understand they're trying to keep him heel, blah blah blah, whatever. But for one night, come on. Another question about Zack Ryder, Mega Merg. How would you feel? How would you push Zack Ryder if at all? Personally, I'd have him fluke beat Cena, then have Cena attack him after the match. Then build to a pay-per-view match where Ryder eventually wins. Effectively turning Cena heel and pushing Ryder. Your thoughts? Um, considering the fact that they've had Cena and Ryder kind of play off each other going when Cena goes to the ring, um, I don't know if that's the best way to do it. It would be effective, no doubt about that, but I personally think that um, there's, there's, there's got to be a better way for Cena to turn heel. There's got to be a better way for Zack Ryder to turn face. He, he can get a decent push off that, there's no question, but will that be the most effective thing to do? Mm, don't know. I haven't, I personally haven't beat either the Intercontinental or the U.S. Champion, personally. The U.S. Champion on Raw, that's uh, Dolph Ziggler now. So, have Zach beat Dolph Ziggler at some point for the U.S. Championship and have him get over that way. Because that stupid internet bell, it's like, it's ridiculous. It's silly. This is from the Big Key 95 in Weymouth, England. What do you think the future holds for Bill DeMott? Um, if they continue with Tough Enough, he'll probably be a trainer on Tough Enough. Uh, there are a lot of rumors going around he's going to make a return to WWE and he's going to be on TV again full time and all this other stuff. I disagree with that wholeheartedly. Bill DeMott is um, past his prime. Bill DeMott is one of those guys like, you know, he was okay in WCW, he was decent in WWE and the WWF when he was there on the journey line, storyline, but I don't think he's going to be a full-time competitor at this point in this stage of his life. Um, I just don't see that happening. Bill DeMott is great, great trainer, very keen on the business, very psychologically advanced in the business, but I don't think he'll be a full-time wrestler at this point. J9202, why are you a nerd? Watch NASCAR. That's why. You know it. Alright. 
Got some good news. Mike finally got back to me, Mr. Nagel. We are doing XMV. It is coming back in July. Woohoo! Check it out, nodq.com. Check out this show, Talk Wrestling. Check out my Facebook at Talk Wrestling Host for more details on that. Um, we will see you in the future here on Talk Wrestling about nodq.com and XMV and things like that. But for now, we'll see you next time.